Hello everybody out there, my name is Christian Gudiman from OpenNTF and I will show you this tutorial how to clone a project from GitHub, make a new branch for your iteration, then make an own branch in this iteration for yourself, your work, do some change it, changes directly in the designer and then commit these changes to your own branch and merge all your changes directly to the iteration branch. What I have installed already on my computer is the GitHub Windows client, the Eclipse with a GitHub plugin and the designer and an own Domino server. I will also cover how to import the on-disk project in the Domino Designer and how to import all the plugins in the Eclipse ecosystem. So, let's start with cloning the project from GitHub. For that I'm opening the GitHub client. Go to OpenNTF and clone poi for x pages so let's go to the git shell and I change to the poi for x pages directory with git status I see on which state I am and I also see that I'm working on the master branch with git branch I can check which branches already are synced directly on my disk git branch minus r gives you an impression which branches are available and you see there is an origin development branch and I want to check out this branch for my local and make from development because that's the starting point of each iteration a new iteration branch. So I do this with git checkout b name of my local branch So now I'm in the development branch, the git pull, I can pull all the things that are in this branch and it says it's already up to date. So I make a new branch for uh, the iteration, what, uh, iteration 2. call it def slash it2 and I have already to push or first to check out this branch sorry so now I'm on def it2 and I want to make this available also on the github so I can say git push and he told me that I have to assign this to the right upstream so and nicely the instructions are most fully useful And now for my personal work that I not do any conflicts with other developers that also will participate on dev it too, I make my own branch.
in our naming convention uh, we do not further cascade them uh, we use a minus sign to bind this so same procedure and make also a push and also here I'm getting the instructions So <clears throat> now on branch dev it to slash cq, my initials, and now I can do my job that I have to do. For that, I first import all the necessary plugins into Eclipse. Starting Eclipse with my X page workspace and switch to the perspective for git repository exploring and here you see I'm on point for x page at staff e2 c2 do not need the example database and I do also not need the app date site And switch back to my Java browsing and here we are all my POI <coughs> libraries and POI plugins are available so let's do the change that I have to do a change that I have to do is <coughs> in the abstract POI power action abstract point power action need <clears throat> a little bit more should now also be able to trace any errors so far. Normally I would test this change before I commit it, but for this tutorial I will show you how to commit it. It's task 13. Voila, it's now committed. That means it's in my local repository. So finish Eclipse and I can push now my local repository directly to the upstream. With git status, you see that I'm ahead with one commit on the git push will bring this change directly up into my stream so second I want to show you how to import the on disk project on the domino designer make uh, uh, database so let's open the domino designer
I'm also switching here to my Git repository exploring perspective to a refresh. I see I have here poi for x pages and I import the example database. Only the example database. Voila. I will find my example database in the navigator. Here as bits domino uh, poi example database. You see it's also assigned to def it to CGU. And now I can create here associate with new NSF. I create on my local development server, call it example. So all stuff is imported. Now I can open this application. Maybe it's the case that the test scenario for this POI abstract power clause should be done by another person. So I have to bring back my changes directly to the iteration stream. So I will do this. You have seen how I've imported on the Domino Designer all the stuff. Now you will see how I merge my things that I have done so far into the iteration branch. So I switch back first git status to check nothing to commit otherwise you can't switch back. So now on my dev it2 branch now I say git merge And you see it's merging the domino x poi util abstract poi power action. And now I'm here one commit ahead so I can make a git push to push this in the central GitHub repository. Now other developers can make a git pull on the dev it2 branch and merge all the changes directly in their local working branch in the dev it um, and their uh, initial branch and then they can work on that. So that's one of the best practice we have established at webgate and I think it's a good way to program. Thanks for your attention. Next time I will cover how to um, merge changes directly to development and then to the release branch.